Hey guys! Can you tell that it's nighttime right now? Probably. There's like all kinds of shadows back there. I try to never do this, but awesome thing happened. I thought Monica deleted everything from this video. I mildly freaked out. <laughs> Basically, I thought the whole video got deleted, but it didn't. Turns out it was just the intro. I realized that when I make videos, I say the title like five times in the video. I don't even need to tell you because you've seen it already in the intro up there. Um, I would tell you normally right here, but you know that it's spring clothing, yeah. Yeah, some do-it-yourself projects for spring. I know it's February, but like I'm pretty early on all this stuff because I get really excited about it, okay? Is that okay? Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. All right, let's get into the video. Start by printing out the letters or word that you want to use on your shirt. Next, just tape a piece of paper down to the table that you're going to be cutting this on. And you're going to want to put something underneath the paper so that you don't cut your table at all. Next, put some freezer paper over this and you can just tape this down and start tracing it out again. What you see here is actually wax paper because the first time I tried to use wax paper, it does not work. Definitely get freezer paper. When you finish cutting it, you're going to iron this down to the shirt. So this just takes a few seconds and using freezer paper, it will stick really, really well. And now you can take some fabric paint. I'm just using a black fabric paint. You can do a brighter, more spring-like color if you want. But I just thought it went well with the gray shirt. So I'm just painting this in. And after you let this dry, you can take off the freezer paper and it will have super clean edges because the freezer paper just works really well. You will need a white t-shirt, a bowl, fabric scissors, and some dye. Start by taking your white t-shirt and we're just going to cut the sleeves off and the collar. Next I'm stretching out the shirt a little bit. And then I'm taking some hot water and putting this into a bowl and you're just going to mix your dye with this. All dyes are different but generally you're going to have the least concentrated amount of dye first to go all over the shirt and then you're going to do a little more concentrated so that it's darker on the next part of the shirt. That's just what I did but you want to follow the specific instructions on your packet of dye. This one was my favorite one to make because it's fun to watch it like change colors. Also, I'd recommend using a bowl bigger than this. And like I'm saying right here, 15 minutes is usually what you're going to leave it in for so that the color stays when you wash it. And then you can just repeat this and go further down the shirt. I ended up doing three different times that I let it sit. And the last time that you dip dye it, you're going to want to have it the most concentrated with the dye. And that is how it looks. So then I just let it dry. You can wash it after this. Just follow the instructions on your packet of dye. And this is how the shirt looks. So for the kimono, you're going to start with one yard of fabric and you want to cut it into a square. Some of this footage actually got deleted, but I used fabric adhesive on the edges just so that it doesn't fray at all and folded it over. For the sleeves, you're going to want to fold it over into a triangle and you can try this on to make sure that you put it in the right spot. And I marked an X to know where to put the fabric adhesive. Apply a generous amount and then let it dry. Mine is said to only dry for 10 minutes, but I let it dry for a couple hours and your kimono is done.
I love how this kimono turned out. You could wear it to school during the springtime or whenever it gets warm. Also, you guys should add me on Snapchat. It's just Shelby Church, and I'll put the little thing that you can take a picture of right now. You guys should go add me because I love Snapchat. So those are my do-it-yourself spring clothing projects that you guys can try out. Easiest one, if you're going to try any of them out, I think that the ombre t-shirt is the easiest one just because like you just dip dye it. Like the kimono is the hardest. It looks easy, but it's hard when you have to measure it. The ombre t-shirt's the easiest. If you guys try any of these out, be sure to tweet them or Instagram them to me because I'd love to see them. Also, you guys should follow me on all of those. I'll have them linked below. It's like 10 p.m. I never make videos at this time, but I'll see you soon. Bye.